think he's in for a bit of a shock. Oh, that's the that's it. That's enough to wipe down. Yeah, hard, hard as you can. Let the boost build up. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you can hear me because it's very windy so I'm taking cover behind the car. Um, today I'm driving my dad's X3M 40i. If anyone doesn't know it's the one below the X3M so it's 350 brake. We're out in the sticks where I've driven a lot, he's never driven and uh, he said you're not driving it, you're not driving around these lanes like an idiot. Blah, blah, blah. So he doesn't really do spirited driving and uh, I think he's in for a bit of a shock and uh, hopefully he won't do a lot of swearing. But um, yeah, he's currently sitting in the car. He doesn't really know how I drive and what's about to happen to him. So I hope you enjoy. I know I will. Here it is, this is my dad's X3 M40i. For anyone that doesn't know much about them, they've got the same B58 engine as the M Light series. So that's your, uh, your 135i's, your 140i's, uh, the 2 Series, 240i. Um, same engine but slightly different derivative to the M2, M2 and M2 competition, different turbo setup, that's what it is. So this one being a 2019 model this is a single turbo uh, obviously straight six for anyone who doesn't know what a b58 is three litre straight six engine uh, single turbo twin scroll and uh, this particular model 2019 one has 354 brake horsepower uh, i say that because the previous same generation but slightly earlier so 2018 model because of eu emission regulations and things like that um, this has a OPF or PPF, um, whatever you want to call it, uh, per petrol particulate filter as uh, an exhaust system. So the 2018 model didn't have that, so it was a little bit more poppy and bangy, like your uh, your 135s and your 140i's. Um, but this one, so that's yeah, the 2018 model had about 360 brake. This having six brake horsepower less because of a bit more restriction in the exhaust because of the filters. Um, but because it's got that, it's not as poppy and bangy as the the. I know it's not a generation difference. It's just like EU emissions update. So 2018 model ones of these would be a bit more louder. Um, but obviously it's sort of perfect, really. Exhaust note wise because they're subtle, same as all the X3 cars really. Um, it's subtle um, compared to, say like a diesel X3, you've got silver tips. Um, if you debadge that and that, and just had a BMW badge, you just go look at it and go, oh, that's an X3, and that'll be that. So this being the M4EI, this is one step down from the X3M or X3M competition. Um, only difference being the competition has twin turbos set up and about 500 brake, 480 brake I think. Um, so yeah, this is like the one step down baby brother. But a lot of people prefer these over the X3 because I think the gear ratios and that's are the same. But um, it's, they, the X3M seems to lack torque. I know Joe Achilles and like other huge BMW people, uh, TR, Tony Lewis from TR Deals and Pete from Petrohead Tours they like these a lot. Now obviously coupled up with that B58 engine is the auto gearbox, um, flappy paddles, no manual uh, options or anything else on these ones. The gearbox. Um, so there is things like launch control on it which we'll go to try in a minute so that'd be quite fun. We've done it before, it's very fun, very unexpected for the size of the car. You're looking at an 1800 kilogram SUV and uh, yeah it shifts. On the exterior of the car, we've got the 21 inch. Uh, always, you can spec 20 inch because a few people don't like uh, a, a bit more of a low profile, as we found out. These are being 21s, dad hit a pile and blew out the tire. 
he's given me evenings now because I said I'd drive and he wouldn't let me and that's what he gets. <laughs> so we got Auto ID carbon skimmed uh, X3 competition looking like mirrors as well as carbon fibre shark fin up top and then Maxton ID spoiler lips and then come around to the front because we've also got this is the colour that the, uh, the wing mirrors and that were originally in. I think it's called uh, Cerulean Grey or something like that. It's like a brushed bronzy aluminium effect. Same there, these like boomerang vents around. But up here we've got, again, all ID plastic carbon fibre skimmed uh, grills. Because these wasn't released, well, all ID don't actually have these yet, but when they're released, we'll probably look at getting them replaced. And then Next to my these splitter along the front as well from Motec. So yeah, that's sort of the styling of the car really. But we're looking at getting possibly in the future. Well, obviously BMW you go to uh, for Motec performance is like exhaust wise is probably your Acroprovic or however you want to say that exhaust systems. But they're looking at like five grand for the exhaust system for this. So we, well, we, I say dad, is uh, looking at getting the exhaust modified. So the back box taken off, baffles cut out and then welded back together. Um, it's a lot more cheaper option for pretty much the same sort of effects that we want to go for. Obviously I've already had a little drive and made him moan as you've seen because yeah, that's just how he is. He drives like a bit of a granny. He's going to hear this when this video goes up and he's going to hate me. Oi! Oi! That's what he's going to say. So these trim pieces along here, you can get them in optional piano black. And I think they do like a wood effect as well. This one's like a... I can never remember the name of it. It's like a rom, rhombical. Yeah, rhombical aluminium. Um, what rhombical means in that game, I'm not sure. It could be the patterning of it or the texture. But yeah. Um, it could have a piano black, but I know piano black is always a nightmare to keep clean from finger marks, dust, swell marks, and scratches. And yeah, so this is more of a subtle look. And I think the wood effect would, yeah, just be a bit uh, throwing it back a little bit. The interior is a lot better in these newer BMWs, which I'm loving, as I've said in previous videos as well. Um, same sort of, but everything's all similar familiarity everything you can jump in any BMW nowadays and it's all the same uh, but what you've done is these are not standard dials well the dials themselves are standard but the colouring behind them you can have them coded and it's as simple on these as you, you just get an app and you plug it in and you choose what colour I think you get about eight ten different colours from BMW is standard but there's actually hundreds of colours already on, on the system um, they just need unlocking and a lot of people do that straight away it's one of the first mods they do so this is like Alpina Alpina dials um, because they're digital and obviously same again for any M performance car you've got your free drivers mode Sport Comfort and Eco or depending on what it is obviously Sport Plus but basically they're all like essentially the same so it always starts off in comfort which is what these dials are here but I always prefer it in sport mode just purely for the look of it not because I'm a bit of a like young lad and I want to hoon it everywhere just if I press it in sport and it changes over again that's, that just looks a million times better in my opinion but that's the old man coming out in him and and then eco it's the same sort of thing you can blue and white for like economy so we give a long show show in sport mode traction control off across the manual which it already is left foot brake yep left foot brake in hard as you can <laughs> Down. Yeah, hard, hard as you can. can. Let the boost build up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you actually uh. went before the flag. I know. I done it wrong. I still went. I didn't. <laughs> Slow down! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
three numbers on it. That's it, it's lost value now. <laughs> One careful lady, lady owner. <laughs> <laughs> so this car was made to be driven dead. So we've done a long switch off from the inside and this is what it's going to be like from the outside. <laughs> that was a 60 and break. So now we've got to go catch up. So there we go, another little video of my dad's X3 for the first time. Hopefully next year we'll be taking it on a Euro tour with Petrograd Tours and Joe Achilles maybe if he turns up for that one. I know he loves them tours, but uh, yeah. Little video on the uh, M40i. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hopefully soon there'll be more to come. So stay around for the next videos to come. See you later.